believe you. Lord, forsake you. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to declare he lives. He lives with him. Our hearts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is my shepherd, I not want. He makes me down to lie. In pastures green, he leadeth me. The Shadow death. I will fear no evil. We will fear 
nor evil. For thou art with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. You can say this first together. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let me pray to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, bless the Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Father, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you all the glory, God. We give you all the honor. Hallelujah. Thank our pastors are ministering song. We pray God bless them as they minister. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Jesus, thank you, Father. We bless you in the name of the Lord. We bless you too. This song says, I've had many tears and sorrows. I've had questions for tomorrow. There's been times I didn't know right from wrong. But in every situation, God gave me blessed consolation Amen. that my trials come to only make me strong. Amen. Oh! 
Yes. You may be seated for a minute, please. Thank you. This is the time for the word to be given. And I want to tell you that I am very happy. I'm very happy to introduce this. Very happy to introduce the speaker for today. Amen. Uh, the Sunday school is released. Uh, any Sunday school? Bless the Lord. Amen. A number of little children. And God bless Sister Joseph. Strengthen her, Lord. Strengthen her, Lord. We have to learn to appreciate our own. Yes. I said we have to learn to appreciate our own. This is a woman of God that has raised children to the glory of God where you wouldn't think you could raise children. Amen. That's right. And we are honored to have her here with us today to speak. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I was thinking earlier this morning that sometimes we give honors to people, but sometimes people that should be honored are overlooked. So I want you to honor this lady by standing now to receive the speaker for this hour, Mother Pierce. God bless her. God bless her. Well, she's somebody who wants you to know. She's got a son who is a national minister of the gospel. Amen. And she's got a grandson who is a preacher. Amen. So she don't have to come here. Yes. But she comes here because she wants to come here because the Lord will have her to be here. Amen. So let us show some appreciation. Amen. Let us show some appreciation. Amen. In the name of the Lord. Good morning, all. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. I don't really have to say anything. Jesus. You all heard the words to all of those songs. Amen. But the goodness of God. You know, I don't know if anybody ever think of a percentage of the things that our God can do. My Lord. My Lord. When you study the words to those songs, our God is an awesome God. Amen. Amen. Our God is an awesome God. And it's only when we acknowledge Him that we realize it. Because you may be seated. Thank you. Amen. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. 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 I, oh Lord, have mercy. You know, up to this morning, I had to put on my a TV in my living room that do not work properly. And it didn't work in my remote or anything like that, so I decided I go and go and press the thing on the TV, and it came on. <laughs> and I got some sound. And you know why I wanted? I said, Lord, I have to bring your word today. Yeah. And this youngster was down there cursing his sister and a two-year-old child. Mm -hmm. Two-year-old child. And I could not hear anything, and I don't live on the block side of them or anything like that there. They live a distance from me, you know? And I got the music, and I said, Lord, I thank you. Amen. Yes. Come on and keep some noise. Amen. Amen. So that's the Lord. <laughs> Only God. You got different noise then. Hey. Hey. Only noise. You know, when, when um, Apostle Graves called me, you know, I said, but I am. Um, I said, I, I am. Um, I, I like. I didn't know what to say because it was a shock. You know, because I haven't been up here for 
a few years, I would say, <laughs> due to COVID and things like that there. We bring to pray and things like that, but to bring the word, I haven't been up here. So I said, um, uh, okay. And the first thing came to me was a song. I am glad I counted the cost. Oh, wow. the Lord. Amen. That is the song that came to me. Amen. I don't know if you all know that song. Huh? I have counted, I have counted the cost. No. Oh, I am glad I counted the cost. I am glad I counted the cost. Well, I, 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 well, I thought I had an error, you know. Bless the Lord. Oh, yes. It says, when first I started to seek the Lord, I'm glad I counted the cost. Amen. Mm -hmm. I fully Amen. measured it, Jesus' word, I'm glad I counted the cost. Amen. I'll just sing the first verse for you. Amen. When first I started to seek the Lord, I'm glad I counted the cost. I fully measured the Jesus' word, I'm glad I counted the cost. I've paid the price and obtained the price. He saved my soul that was lost. And now my treasures are in the skies. I'm glad I counted the cost. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You know what? And that is the first song that came to me. Amen. I'm glad I counted the cost. Despite where I live. And you know, at one time, when I, I'm down there now 43 years. Wow. And at one time, the Spirit said to me, Hey, you've you been here 40 years, you got to move out now. But I said, my prayers is what is keeping certain things down. Yes. My oh, yes. prayers yes. is yes. what yes. is keeping yes. certain yes. things yes. down. Yes. So I said, God will make a way where there seems to be no way. Amen. My goodness, those words, those songs this morning. <laughs> Lord, they're awesome. So I started to look for the book. With, I'm glad I come to the course. And I start searching in some boxes. I think like that. I said, cause I'm going to bring the word on this. Because, you know, and I start looking and things like that there. I searched with about 10 boxes and I didn't find the book. Mm. What I saw was this book. The Lord is my shepherd. Mm. This Amen. is what I saw. Amen. It's a book my daughter gave me from somebody at the university that wrote it. And she presented 2021. And, and I found the book, I said, wait, well, I don't even know if I read this book. And I put it one side, mm -hmm. and I paid it on mine. And all like this, so the whole day, the book coming to me, coming to me all the time. <laughs> and then I didn't look in my bed, hey, no, a bed is very sleep every day. <laughs> when I look in my bed, hey, there was the book, <laughs> with the song. <laughs> and I searching all over, and I couldn't find it, I was right in my bed, hey. <laughs> But I found this book. The Lord is my shepherd. Amen. And this is something that we were taught Bless from the time we were in primary school. Bless True. Bless and when we were in primary school, they would tell us, you got to learn it by heart. I don't know what the, the words now, what words do they use now, but it was, you got to learn these things by heart. Yeah. They don't do that. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. <laughs> and if you don't learn it by heart, it's bare lips. And I had a, a teacher. She wasn't our teacher, but she used to, after lunchtime, she would get the children outside, different classes, different days, and teach them this song. And we had to learn, the Lord is my shepherd by heart, yeah. or not his lips. And Lord have his mercy. We get so much lips. <laughs> so much lips. Another thing too was the, the tables. I don't know if they do the tables now. They don't do the tables. No. And the, ta the tables that I couldn't remember was the seven and the nine tables. 
I could never remember there was a Sam United thing. But she would come two fours, nine twos, or a thing like that to different people. You had to say or not, that was the lash for the strap. Yes. So I get a lot of lashes. I don't know how I survive, but I get a lot of lashes. <laughs> Anyhow, learning that Lord, the Lord is my shepherd from the time we were small and you come up and all through church, you say and thing like that day. And it's only when you reach a certain point in your life that you realize this makes sense. Yeah. 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 And you know, all through, all through the years, this scripture, yeah. there were just short scriptures and things like that. I, I did it. I don't think they meant anything to the teachers and the children. We just had to learn those things. Yes. And as only as a dog, I said, wow. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He restoreth my soul. He lead me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. You know, it was just a, a simple thing and I had to go through a lot I had to go through a lot to realize that the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want yes. And the reason why I accept him as Lord and Savior in my life, in my life is to receive from him. Amen. 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 It doesn't mean that I can go and sit down at the window and somebody can come and pelt things inside. <laughs> We have to be sensible. Yes. Amen. We got to be wise, but not in our own eyes, because you know we think that the things that we say and do are wise. Yes. But we have to let God lead and guide and direct our path. Amen. You know, we have to humble ourselves and know when it is the Savior speaking. Yes. We got to know when God is speaking. You know, but it is not easy. It's not easy. And Pastor Wiz talk about the children. My goodness. You know, when I studied, the last one was born down there. And at one time she told me, Mommy, you're going to start licking me. Mommy, you're going to start licking me because she's the only one that I. Because when I, when I lash the big girl, the boy was about two and he rushed me. He said, be my sister, be my sister. And he rushed me and I laughed. <laughs> I laughed. That time my mother used to keep him. And he went out there and tell my mother, oh, she played she be my sister. I sure she was born. <laughs> years old. Two years old. And he gave me that there. So I said, well, I am doing this thing no more. I don't talk. Yeah. But I made sure that I send them all to Sunday school, yeah. you know, because I had a, a pastor wife live right side of me, and she would take they would take them to church. I want glad tidings down by things there down there, yeah, and that's how they came up in the church. And I didn't used to go. I didn't used to go. I only started church in 1995. You know? And I'm glad that I accept the Lord before my mother died. Yeah, because whenever she called, she would ask me, you went to church? And I would try to change the conversation and tell her the children away. <laughs> you know, she said the children and you, you're the mother. But the thing about it is I was living in the house with someone and I didn't think it was right that I should go to church and got somebody living in a house. But then in 1994 I come, I said, this is it. This is it. I'm done with this foolishness. It's either you marry me or you go along. And he went along. <laughs> he went along. And 1995 I accept the Lord. And I haven't turned back. I haven't turned back. Down, you study a lot of things that you miss. Mm -hmm. Miss 
a lot of things. And especially now that I live alone, a lot of thoughts come in my head. Mm -hmm. But then when I think of the Lord and the goodness of the Lord, Amen. I have to let those things go. Amen. Amen. Because God is good. Amen. Amen. And I love that song. Well, I'm getting old now. I am 72 years old. So, so you know, sometimes you forget the words and the titles to the songs and things like that there. But God is good and he stands by you. Amen. Amen. So living alone is not easy, but when we pray, just remember God is who's hearing it. Yeah. Yeah. I am praying and keeping a noise for people out there, the neighbors, and say, I pray to God. Yeah. Yeah. At the talk this morning, I had so much lightning and thunder down my side. I don't know if you all experience it. Yes. Thunder and lightning, and I had to shut a window and try my best to don't let the lightning come in. Mother Grace was sleeping. Oh, yeah. That thunder was so loud. Yeah. You know? And I drop, but my God was there. Nobody didn't there, but I got to drop. My God was there. And I give him all praise and thanks because he has always been there for me. I didn't see it. I didn't feel it. I didn't realize it. But my God was there from the time we were small. Because when we were small, my mother had 13 children. The nine left at that age. But she had 30 children. And it ain't easy having those children. Well, I didn't used to see much about fathers. Mm -hmm. you know? But it wasn't easy. Amen. And I could remember going to school barefoot. Mm -hmm. oh, don't tell these children no about that there. Oh, I don't you don't go to school barefoot. I went to school barefoot. And I can tell you just this one thing. I took part, I used to go barefoot all the time, and then I took part in a race. I'm telling this to tell that God was with me Amen. all through the years, Amen. you know, Amen. because he knew. Mm -hmm. He knew that sometime I would accept him. I would receive him in my life. That's right. So I, but they had sports at my school. And, you know, the chills who them, Want to go to Kensington Oval. Yeah, and I was one of them. Mm. And well, I had no shoes to wear. So my mother bought me a pair of black pumps. <laughs> I don't know how many of you know about black pumps. <laughs> and I had a pair of pink socks. And I put on those pink socks. Lord, I felt so proud of myself. <laughs> I, I dressed up to go to Kensington Oval to take, play, part, to take part in this race. And then now it was myself and another girl from the school. I don't know if she, she, she's, if she's still living or not. And she, we were there. So, you know, you're taking different groups and age and things like that. So I told us we in this same group. So she was running. I don't know if I heard the thing called at school you then you still hear what you hear down there. So I don't know if I heard that that said she ran they start to run because she <laughs> <laughs> And boy I trying to catch she and I'm running and I trying to catch she. Till we get to the end. And I felt real smart. That she in front and I behind. They felt real good. <laughs> so when the day they announcement now, I realized that she was second last and I was I never wear them yet. Yeah. 
Amen. I give God all praise and thanks. After some nights of discomfort, I wake up in the morning feeling real good because I do my prayers at night and do my prayers at morning and I wake up feeling real good. And I have the strength then to either go for a walk or do something in the house. And who do you think it is that give me that strength and encouragement? Oh my God. 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 Yes. It isn't a body that I could turn to and say, well, nobody. Because those who, who I know, all my children move out, married and move out, you know? So, it's in the body to turn to. Well, you know, I, at one time I just said, I wonder if I can get a husband. <laughs> but, that means for everybody, and God shows that. <laughs> God shows that, that means for everybody. Because when you look back at your life and you see what happened and what you went through, and sometimes you hear of things that are going on with couples and things like that, you say, thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, we have to let the Lord lead and guide and direct our steps. Everything. It's a very wicked world that we live in. A very wicked world that we live in. But God is still in control. Yes. And simple things like the rain. Yesterday my, my, my children had a flea market. And you all know about the rain. How the rain was and things like that day. And you know. I. We were talking. And I tell them. But they listen to the weather because I have a, this thing that um, come on their cell phone that let them know what the weather. Uh, oh, 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 okay. Let them know what is going to happen with the weather. But you know, I, I, I come and I look outside and I look up and I look wrong and that is that. That is the old time way. <laughs> that is the old time way of doing things. So, yeah, that's the old time way of doing things. Come and look up in the skies and things like that day. So I, I was telling them that day, and my son said, Mother, you ain't gonna change the, the only thing ain't gonna change. But that is how I go for a walk and things like that day. Because the Holy Spirit lead and guide and direct my path. So I am very thankful to God for where he brought me from and where I'm at and where he's going to take me. You know? Because I trust him, I believe in him. And there's nothing too hard for our God to do. Nothing too hard for our God to do. And when I study that, then I was pregnant with my son. The, the, the man took me to All Souls and we got engaged. And you know, the, 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 the reverend there prayer, when I studied that day, I said, that's where it's gone with, 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 with um, engagement. But I don't know. Nobody yeah. know. <laughs> yes, he took me to All Souls and we rang and the reverend prayer over it and everything. And this that came back to me recently. And I said, well, that's the reason why I didn't get married. I don't know. But God knows everything. And he's in charge of everything. We have to put God first place when we get up in the morning. And we pray. Ask God to lead and guide and direct our path. We have to humble ourselves before God. You know, we have to humble ourselves before God. And let him tell us what to do or what to do. We've got to know, learn to hear from God. Yes. You've got to learn to hear from God. Yes. And I am telling, I try to make the boy believe that I always knew that it was God speaking. Because you do get up and you do things, and you, you go and you do all sorts of things and things like that. Eh? And say, but Lord, why you let this happen to me? But you didn't ask God. 
You didn't inquire of him. You didn't present it before him. But still, but now that things going bad, you want God to make a way where it seems to be no way, you know? But we have to put our trust in God. We have to put our trust in God. And you saw that Mother Brazen and them saying, it says, I learned to trust in Jesus, I learned to trust in God, and I learned to depend on his word. His word. And we know his word says, the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He maketh me to lay down green pastures, you know? God provides our every need. We just got to know that it's him speaking and be obedient to his words and his command. You know? So that we can do the things that he wants us to do. So that we can get our blessings. Because God takes care of his children. He sees after his children. You know? So I just give God praise and thanks because my mother always used to tell us she never married and she always used to tell us about God. And you know sometimes you wonder, oh, how oh, oh, somebody telling you about God and the door is so much like true so much and thing like that there. But it, I can't worry about what she did or what she went through and all of that there. She always used to think. And when I was leaving home to go, and I'm the second last of my mother's children. And when I was leaving home to go and live, my mother cried. My mother cried because I used to see after the home and everything like that day. I used to see after her. And she said she never thought that it would be like that with me. She thought it would be different, you know? But things happen, you know, and you sometimes you put your trust in everybody else except into God. True. And that's a case of putting your trust in a man. That's what I did. Put my trust in one. But sisters and brothers, I don't know if um, Redeem can put up that song, the last song that we sang. God, you know, when you study the words in there, thank God that he is the God that he is. Amen. He is the God that he is, you know. So we do all sorts of wrong things. We do all sorts of wrong things. Yes. He still forgive us. And he makes the way where there seems to be no way. And he do things differently. Different to us. We sit down and we plan, I can do this and I can do that. And we do not put God in our plans. True. So true. That's but we got to remember, in all our ways, acknowledge him and he will direct our path. We got to do that thing. Hallelujah. And this is mostly for you, my children, my children. These little children, this is mostly for you. Amen. Don't let what happened to us adults happen to you all. That's right. Listen. You are not too young to hear from God. True. So true. You're not too young to hear from God. That's right. And receive Amen. and believe Amen. what He says to you. Amen. You know? Yes. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. And he will not put more on you than you can bear. That is the God that we serve. And you know when we are angry how we get on? We get on and tell it that and we forget that we are God's children. We completely forget that day. So we got to be careful in things we say and do. And remember God is a present help. In times of trouble, he's yes. everything there for us. Yes. So remember to call on God. Amen. I sometimes wonder if I did do things differently, where would I be today? I don't know. God knows. 
God is the only one that knows through the years that I have been through what is, what isn't, mm -hmm. and he's the only one that know I would make it to this age. Amen. You know, Amen. so that is why God put, um, put certain things on us, mm -hmm. you know, so put certain things on us. Let certain things happen to us that we are angry about, yes. that we feel should not be happening to, to us, especially when we receive the Lord. Hey, but hey. God knows best. Amen. He knows yes. best. Yes. You know, so, so despite what we might say or do, mm. God is in full control yes. of the situation. Yes. Amen. And I want those songs that uh, the Dorothy play, I want you all to go back and listen to those words. <laughs> you know, I said, well, I know I have to say nothing. That is the word there. Amen. Amen. That is the word Amen. there. Amen. All yes. of those words in those songs oh, is the word there. Amen. So my sisters and brothers, children, my sons and daughters, I just want you to keep your trust in God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Always depend and rely on him. Amen. And wait on him for an answer. Amen. Waiting is a problem. <laughs> the Lord is taking too long. Amen. So we go ahead and do it ourselves. We go ahead and do it our way. And it's always the wrong way. Hallelujah. God takes time. Yes. You know, but oh, it's always the right way. Mm. And I've proven that there over and over again. Amen. That if we wait, if we be patient and wait, God will supply our every need. He does. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We just got to wait and put our trust in Him. Yes. You know? I remember years coming up that now I got all types of certificates. I have certificates in shorthand typing, computer technology, all sorts of certificates I have. But sometimes they don't make no difference. <laughs> they don't make no difference. I remember going and doing main work and sweeping up people's yard where they got dogs to clean up the dog mess and things like that and then the people not even please. I said, well, you didn't, you didn't do a good job. Oh, dear. And you know, but you know, you do what you have to do. Yes. You know, yes. you do what you have to do because yes. I mean, it's, uh, I had three children to raise That's right. all alone. You know, so I did what I had to do Amen. to raise my children. Amen. So I didn't mind them two little papers and things like that there. Seeing them now, they're still up, some of them still up brand new. And you know, at my age, how old them is. You know, but I give God all praise Amen. and thanks for where he brought me from. How he was able to take care of my children. Amen. I can't tell nobody I take care of my children. My God took care of them. Amen. He fed yes. them. Yes. He clothed them. He sent them to school, mm -hmm. primary, secondary, tertiary, Amen. university, Amen. and he provided jobs for each and every one of them. Amen. 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 What could I have done for that to happen? Amen. It isn't anything that I could have done. God. Amen. God. Put our trust in God. Mm -hmm. Believe in him. And wait patiently, and he will bring it to pass. Amen. He will bring it to pass. Hallelujah. So, my sisters and brothers, God bless you all. Bless and I pray that something that I have said would encourage these young people to believe in God, to trust Him, to wait on Him, and He will bring everything. To pass. He will bring every let everything happen in time. The right time. Because his timing is the right timing. There is nothing too hard for our God to do. He's always doing the right thing. So God bless you all. And 
continue to worship and serve him and as we continue to pray for you all because we have to pray for these young people oh, yeah. we have to pray for them morning yes. noon and no. night we have to pray for them because they might be in here and they might get sweet worship and things like that but they're going to go to school or wherever they go you get something different because every house handle things a different way every house handle things a different way amen so we got to just try our best yes to do what we can to help our young people amen because they are the adults of years to come they are the ones who's going to lead our country yes that's right you know amen yeah those are the ones who are going to lead our country and i want them to know they can call on god put their trust in him believe in him and he will bring everything into our the father amen. Amen. so god bless you all strengthen and comfort you all just a little word but I am thankful because you just got to listen to the words, to those sounds, and you will get all the blessings that you need. Amen. All the songs that you all sang. Amen. Praise God bless, bless you. Bless you, Sister Fairs. God bless you for the word, word of encouragement to all of us. She specifically spoke of the younger people that are now going through lots of different things, lots of different tests in your life. And you must go through in order to get through. There was an elderly man that said to me, the only way you could get through is if you go through. That is wisdom. Yes. So don't try to <clears throat> evade certain things. You have to go through and ask God to give you the strength and, and he will take you through and take you through successfully. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> My route might not be your route. Correct. Right. Right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I remember speaking of um, the races and so on. She and the young, the young lady that was running. And then she thought she was getting some rich, one was yeah. one was last, and one was like a last. <laughs> but remember, I used to run and I started real good. But then all of a sudden, you get so tired, and wonder what happened. That you so tired, and the others so quick and fast, and you're eating good. You, mm -hmm. you think you're eating so well and mm -hmm. everything. But there's a place for everyone in this world. You can't be everywhere, you can't be everything. Everything is not your gifting. Work with your gifting. Work with what God has given you to work with. He's spoken to all of us. We might think that we all know and we can, but there's still much that we can do because we can help a lot of these younger ones if they will listen. I pray that you will pay attention to how God is speaking to our, to our young people in this place. Don't go and say, well, my mother do it so I can do it too. Let me tell you something, no girl that said that, and she has so much trouble. She had more trouble than the mother ever had. I don't know what's become of her right now. So please don't say that foolishness. If God has given you a good example to follow, follow the example for God's sake. And if he's given you an example for you, you can learn something from Take it and learn from it and move on in the name of Jesus so you can be an example to others. Yes. Glory be to God. Jesus came and he came to be an example to each and every one of us. And if we are truly Christian, I mean followers of Christ, because yes. it seems as if somebody said that the near Christianity is, is like a nickname, because some of us don't follow God. We just go to church. This is not, yeah. this is being thing about religion. Right, because some of us go to church and we some of us we criticize the Hindu religion, we criticize every other religion. Every but time. we are going to church and not serving the true living God either. So we just as bad as them. So let the Lord have his way. God bless you, Sister Pearson, for these words of encouragement. 
for it also came to us the elderly and it came to everybody in here. If you if you receive something from it, raise your hands. Everybody raise your hands. You receive something from it? In the name of Jesus, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Amen. Glory be to God. So I pray that if you've learned something with gold, when tomorrow they test and the trials come, we'll know how to get open up. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He always make a way of escape. He said he always make a way of escape for us, but we got to be grateful. We got to be thoughtful and go home, as she said, go through these songs again. Through it all, through it all, and learn to trust in Jesus. Hallelujah. We trust in men, so we trust in men, so we trust in women, we trust in all kinds of friends, and all kinds of things, and they fail us, and they fail us miserably. Let's take some time off and trust in God. So if we trust in children that we say we give birth to, and they have no help to us, let's trust in God who has given us life. He's given us life, and not only life, but life in the abundance. Amen. Glory be to God. So let's accept what he has done for us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. I pray that this word will be would have been refreshing to each and every one of us. Glory be to God. So let's stand at this time. And, and, um, and for those that are listening, those who are on Zoom, and all, I pray that it would have, was refreshing to you all. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But we think that because somebody has all kinds of things behind the name, the professor this and the professor that, and the doctor of divinity, and, and all that kind of thing, that they could help us with something, just a simple word. True. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. True it all. True it all. I've learned to depend upon his word. Hallelujah. Let's bless the Lord. Amen. So as this word, as we end this session now, glory be to God. All those who need prayer for help and assistance to go through, hallelujah, the tests that come from day to day, month to death, raise your hands. Glory be to God. Amen. For God is going to hear and answer our prayer today. Hallelujah. Father, I give you thanks for all of us assembling in this assembly today. Amen. Armor of light. I pray, oh Holy Father, we will truly um, raise ourselves with the word. Yes. Glory be to God. So that we will be equipped for every test that we have to go through. Father, I thank you for renewing our minds today in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for blessing our system, for bringing these words of encouragement to our hearts, uh, to let us see that we are not alone, yes. that we have Jesus with us. Uh, Jesus, who is beautifying our lives if we allow him. So I pray that God that we will humble ourselves under the mighty hand and say, Father, take over my life. Run it according to the dictates of your Holy Spirit. Because, Father, it's only your Holy Spirit that dictates where we go and how we go. But I pray, oh God, that we will be truly obedient to your word. Hallelujah. And seek him now it is time. And don't wait until it's too late. So we thank you, O oh God, for blessing our hearts and opening our minds, dear God. And I pray, dear God, that we will continue to build on the rock for his Jesus. Hallelujah. For you're the only one, and you are the defender of us. You are the only one that can defend us. Hallelujah. In everything we go through. So we give you thanks today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your wonderful name. And we say, Father. Wherever we are weak, we thank you for strengthening us. Glory be to God. And thank you for giving us the stamina. Hallelujah. For it doesn't matter if we come last in the race. It matters if we complete the race. For you say he that ensure to the end, he should be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I give you thanks for, for your endurance. And I realize that, that will help us to complete this race. Hallelujah. So that we will see you face to face. 
In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Have your way in our lives. Amen. 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 So the Lord bless thee and keep thee. So the Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon thee and give you peace now and forevermore. And the people say, Amen. 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 For prayer and counsel in your walk with God, please email us at armoroflightbarbados at gmail.com. Thank you, and may God bless you.